In the context of digital e-learning, it is important for the trainer to keep the social link with the learners. By making comments or engaging in discussions as regularly as possible, he can ensure that his learners are in the right frame of mind during their training. Verbal communication is still more effective than written communication because it limits problems of understanding. Initial e-learning with a group session where learners can express their expectations and concerns is appropriate to create a group spirit and allow the trainer to identify learners for whom he or she will need to pay particular attention. The positioning phase or diagnostic assessment is an important stage in e-learning because it enables the prerequisites of learners to be identified. Through this dual approach, the trainer is able to carry out his role at a distance and to intervene individually with each of his learners. Throughout the course, the trainer should set up a formative assessment process followed by a summative assessment to identify whether learners are succeeding or falling behind. Depending on the results of each student, the trainer can either intervene individually to help the learners in difficulty or adapt his teaching objectives if he notices that the whole class is in difficulty. To do this, he can, for example, carry out a survey to identify the elements that have caused them difficulty, whether the type of assessment and the result obtained by the learners, the trainer should take the time to explain the assessment criteria he or she has put in place to assess them. And during these exchange periods, learners can consolidate or complete their learning by sharing their feedback on the course proposed by the trainer.